In Mwikori village, Kakamega County, one young man died after a hole he was digging to prepare and hide illicit brew caved in and buried him alive. Residents who were near the area mobilized to help dig him out and retrieve the body. Nimefika hapo nikapata kweli kijana alikuwa ndani ya shimo ambalo alikuwa anatoa mchanga na tumefanya juhudi za kumuondoa pale ndani na mwili wake umetolewa akiwa amekufa his father alongside the residents opined that the catastrophe might have been avoided if youth in the area did not have to look for menial jobs mimi mtoto amekufa akiwa anatafuta anajitafutia na alikuwa anajitafutia kwa njia zingine hatari na kwa hivyo siwezi contain mtu yoyote there are calls to the county government to provide job opportunities to the youth and reduce cases like today's naomba ya kwamba waangalie vijana wa chini sana kwa maana wengi wanaenda wanaangamia kwa njia kama hii na waangamie kwa kuiba wanatafuta ili wapate wapate cha kukula ukiangalia heshima ambayo vijana ametoka ndani yuko mbali sana sio heshima ambayo atakwambia tu kama uko na pesa uingie hapo anaingia hapo kwa sababu ya kutafuta na serikali isaidie chamii ya huyu kijana here in the city, Augustine Wanyonyi appeared before a court where he confessed to stealing two Bibles on Monday from a supermarket in Nairobi. In his confession, Wanyonyi defended himself saying that after his house was demolished in Mukuru Kwanjenga, he stole the Bibles in a bid to spread the gospel so that he could put food on the table. Elsewhere, grief engulfed the residents of Kibokoni Old Town in Mombasa County after a fire blazed through their residences and businesses. Na moto maana ilio imefanya ishikwe sana kwa sababu nyumba ilikuwa ni nyumba ya mbao. Zile nyumba za zamani sasa imeongezwa juu wakaongeza gorofa ambao lakini yote wamekata rumurumu ni mbao. Mejengwa kwa mbao ndiyo imeshika moto, imeshindu wapaka kuzima na ni moto ilikuwa ni moto mkubwa uyo. Pia tumeona kumekua na cases nyingi. Nyumba za poromoka in Old Town, drainage system ikopua. So wale watu ambao wanadili na hali ya mazingira. Watu ambie ni nini wanafanya kwa kikisha mafakama haya, hayata endelea kutokea. Leo milimitano metoka kwa nyumba moja. Na majeru hiwane, kesho, kesho kutwa, ikiwa hakuna mikakati ya takayoekwa, tutakuwa tunaisabu miili kila leo. Five people have been confirmed dead, including a man, his wife, and an 11-year-old boy. Na alhamdulillah tumefiliwa na ndugu zetu na mtoto moja wa sistangu na ndugu yangu, ye na mke wake. Na wingine pia nao ni family. Na wingine kuna wingine na zaidi na zaidi wa mepata majaraha makuba makuba wako mahospitalo wa melalishwa. Alhamdulillah tumefanya bidi juu chini. Hii ni jambo la Allah ambao wa metuletea tumelikubali. A row has emerged between police and the families over the fate of the bodies. The families are requesting the bodies for interment, whereas the authorities want autopsies to be done. Lakini tulikuwa tunaomba, tupate maiti zetu sisi tuende, tukazike, kutoka subuhi, tunateswa, tukipelekwa huku, tukiregeshwa huku, na sahi maiti zimetolewa katika Coast General, tena zimepelekwa mocha, rindio tumeshindu wa kujua hiyo taratibu, lakini paka sahi tuko nje ya Coast General tunaongojea hata tupewe hizo maiti zetu na bado hatujapata hizo maiti zetu. Investigations into the cause of the fire are currently ongoing. Reporting for Ebru TV, I'm Ruben Caleb.